Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Chris Irving with another episode of Kratom Kingdom in Knoxville, Tennessee. Um, today I wanted to talk to you about why I personally use Kratom and why I'm such an advocate for Kratom. For one thing, it's number one on my list of items is it takes away all my aches and pains. Having had a stroke in 2003 leaves my body racked with pains and muscle aches and bone aches and headaches. And Kratom just really knocks it out. I can take five grams of Kratom in a cup of tea and it's better than a oxycodone. That being said, does it have the same negative effects of oxycodone? In my 10 years of use, I have never felt had any negative effect from it. That's not saying that somebody might not. I, I drink Kratom every single day and I enjoy it every single day. I enjoy the euphoria, I enjoy the pain relief, and I enjoy the, the something to do because I live a pretty boring, mundane lifestyle. So having a sip of Kratom is like having coffee with your friends. But I'm my only friend. So if I run out of Kratom, then I'll just drink a cup of coffee. And it's kind of the same ordeal. You know, it's like you wake up in the morning, you gotta smoke a cigarette. I don't smoke, but it's kind of the same thing. I wake up in the morning and I gotta have a cup of Kratom. It kind of loosens up my body and loops, loops me up and gets me ready for the day. If I, run, if I were to totally run out of Kratom, which has happened to me in the past, I get sick. My nose starts to run, my anxiety gets crazy, and I, um, and I, And I crave it, and until I get it, I mean, I'll even start shaking for it, which tells me that I am addicted, physically addicted to kratom. But for me, the benefits far outweigh the the negatives. I would rather have an, a mild addiction to a a leaf on a tree than have to go through the pain and agony that I go through every day post stroke. Um, if you're somebody that takes Kratom for pain, there's no reason to justify. I mean, it is what it is. It does what it does, and it does it very well. Different strains do different things. Right now, I'm drinking green strain, but I'm running out of green, so I'm ordering three kilograms of red, which is six kilograms of red, three, six pounds of red, and I'm just going to be dumping red down my system and red for me is nice because it's calming it's very good at pain relief it's a very good analgesic and um, it helps with my anxiety green on the other hand gives me a little more energy gives me a little pep in my step and it lets me go through my day normal. I mean, it it even lubers, socially lubers me up, lubes me up, where I don't mind going out of my apartment and talking to people in my building, which doesn't mean I go and do that very often, but after having a cup of credit, I don't mind doing that. I could do that. Um, Kratom to me is a medicine and it's it's a great medicine and it's underrated if the FDA were to break down the components of Kratom and if they can find out why it helps so much with pain they could make a whole new aspirin a whole new Tylenol they could make a whole new hydrocodone or oxycodone Something that's non-addictive and 
um, and gives you a much more mild euphoria than you would get if you took an oxycodone. Oxycodone gives a, a wild eu euphoria, which you don't get from kratom. You get a mild euphoria, which always riding on that mild euphoria feels good. It gets me through my day. Because right now I don't have anything to do today, so I'm making a video. And maybe I'll clean my apartment. My body hurts. My body doesn't hurt anymore since I've had my third class of Kratom. And... And it's just, I can't think of anything else that I've taken that does what Kratom does. Nothing. When you take an opiate or a narcotic, it's short-lived. I mean, it lasts for just a little while. With Kratom, I mean, I can sip it all day long and keep that same euphoria all day long. The little capsules, I don't get anything out of those at all. They just make me nauseous. So I don't recommend capsules to anybody. But Kratom tea, I recommend. It just mix a little bit of powder, five grams of water, or five grams of powder with about a cup of boiling water. Add a little lemon juice to it or lime juice to it. Or crystal light powder to it. Stir it up and drink it and you'll have yourself a really nice euphoric cup of tea. It helps me to wake up in the morning. It's got a mild stimulant to it. So I don't know. 